Hey guys, David here from Google 55 Tech Tutorials, and today I'm here with a speed comparison between the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 5S. Okay, so let's get started. So you're probably wondering what kind of a comparison this actually is because most people compare the newest model to the second newest model. However, basically what I'm trying to show is the speed difference between iOS 7 on the oldest device that it supports and on the newest device it supports. So both these iPhones are running iOS 7. On the left we have the iPhone 4. This is not the 4S, it's just the 4. And on the right we have the iPhone 5S. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn each on at the same time and see how long it takes for each one to turn on. Okay, so three, two, one. And the iPhone 5S is done, now we're just waiting on the 4. And there we go, the iPhone 4 is done booting up. Okay, so I'm just going to unlock them both at the same time and we'll see which takes longer for the home screen to appear on. And it's about the same, so the icons come onto the home screen at about the same rate on both phones. Obviously that doesn't use too much processing power, so that's not a big deal there. Okay, now let's try to load a page in Safari. Both these iPhones are on the same Wi-Fi connection, and so I'm just going to go ahead and open up Safari on each. And you can see it loaded faster on the 5S. And I'm just going to load Apple's website by clicking on the Apple logo, so 3, 2, 1. And you can see there it was a bit faster on the 5S. Again, web browsing isn't too intensive, so there wasn't a big difference there, but it was noticeably faster on the 5S. Okay, now one app that I did notice a big difference on was the Facebook app. So let's open up the Facebook app on each, and we're going to see how long it takes on each phone to load up my news feed. Three, two, one. And on the iPhone 4, from what I remember from using this phone a few months ago, it is significantly slower than on the iPhone 5S. And as you can see, it's still loading. It is ridiculously slow. Still loading. And there we go, it's finally done loading. So you can see there the huge difference that the newer processor makes in the iPhone 5S compared to the iPhone 4 with the Facebook app. Obviously games and stuff will load faster too, but just to keep this video short, I'm not gonna load a game. Okay, now the last comparison that I'm going to do before I see which one shuts down the fastest is the camera shutter. So we're going to see which phone takes pictures faster and how much faster. So basically what I'm going to be looking for is how long it takes before it saves the picture after I hit the shutter button. So here we go, so three, two, one. I'll just do two more, so three, two, one. And three, two, one. And you can see there that on the 5S it saves it almost immediately, while on the 4 it takes a second or two to actually save the picture. Okay, now the last test that I'm going to do is I'm going to see how long it takes for each one to turn completely off. Here we go, three, two, one. And I was actually a bit late on the 5S, but that's okay. And you can see there that the 5S turns off way faster than the 4, despite me being a bit late on the 5S. And the 4 is still turning off. And now the 4 is finally off. So that video was basically just to show you the difference between iOS 7 on the oldest device that it supports versus the newest device that it supports. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys liked the video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter page. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.gugudo55techtutorials.com. All the links are in the description below.